So as you've heard today, quite often we are, uh, in Neo4j, we are building this pretty um, comprehensive library of graph algorithms to be used uh, from within Neo4j as a user-defined procedure. So that means you have your graph data, and then you can call um, different kinds of algorithms. So centrality algorithms like page rank or between a centrality or um, closeness centrality, or you can call uh, algorithms like uh, pathfinding algorithms, or shortest single source, shortest path, or all-node shortest path, or breadth-first search, and so on. Or also algorithms like uh, clustering, uh, like um, connecting components, or thank you, Lauren. Uh, uh, like connected components, label propagation, Louvain, and so on. And so which is really nice for people who kind of know Cypher and are familiar with Neo4j. And um, yeah, just, let's book it. OK, cool. Um, who are familiar with Neo4j, no cipher, and um, can, can do this. And the, uh, just have to find the presentation now. And uh, the idea with this network X Neo4j library, here we are, um, was the following. Most people that come from a data science background are very familiar with Python and Python tooling, right? So for, for scikit-learn, for, uh, Things like, hello, computer, network X, and so on. The idea is that we wanted to provide an API for data scientists that's familiar to them, that's similar like Net network X, but in the background basically calls the Neo4j graph algorithms on your graph data that you have in Neo4j. Right? So uh, Neo4j graph algorithms, I already mentioned it. So we have a, this is kind of the comprehensive documentation for graph algorithms. You can install them in Neo4j desktop by just clicking, clicking the button. In, uh, in the plugins tab. So it's just a single click install where you get graph algorithms immediately installed. And here are the kind of algorithms that I already mentioned. So centrality, community detection, pathfinding algorithms. And basically, if you call them from Cypher, it looks like this. Either you have an um, algorithm where you want to get a data stream back to you to, to process. So that means you don't actually want to um, Store the data in the graph. For instance, if you get centralities, you want, just want to get them back to, for instance, feed them to some other uh, uh, mechanism or, or algorithm. And the, the second variant, uh, basically, it doesn't have the stream in the name, uh, writes the data to the graph. So it would write, for instance, centralities as, an, as a property, like page rank, or between a centrality as a property or a node. Or there are also some that create relationships between similar nodes and, and, and so on. So this would be the second uh, variant. And each of these algorithms you can um, configure either with a label and relationship type or nothing if you don't have uh, any restrictions. And then it would only run on this kind of subgraph of your data. In a configuration uh, parameter is often algorithm specific things like uh, in page rank, it's like dampening factor and uh, iterations and, and, and stuff like that. That depends a little bit on the algorithm. Um, something that's really powerful in near graph algorithms is this uh, projection. So you can imagine it like a graph view that you can kind of define that your algorithm runs on, but you don't have to change your actual graph data to create a structure. So that means you have one cipher statement here uh, where you uh, create a node list, that's the first one, and the second cipher statement uh, creates an edge list or relationship list. And that kind of defines the virtual graph that you want to run your algorithm on. So it could be an aggregation, it could be a summarization, it could be a contraction of the graph. You can turn a multipartite graph into a monopartite graph and, and so on. And then the algorithm runs on this virtual graph and you get, still get the results back to your real graph. And that's quite, quite powerful just as a quick thing. So these are the uh, algorithms, as I already mentioned, page rank, page feed, um, closeness and degree centrality. Bunch of community detection algorithms, uh, triangle counting, Cluster, clustering co coefficients um, of different qualities and performance uh, uh, things. And pathfinding are also mentioned uh, as well. So there's also Dijkstra and Yen, Yen's cache for this path and so on. And then if you have the data in your graph, then you can use that to identify, for instance, cent central nodes, uh, communities, clusters. You can use it to feed these computed um, graph uh, metrics into machine learning algorithms. You can use this to improve, for instance, recommendation algorithms by saying, OK, actually, from the uh, centralities, I know that I have to influence this person to make a change in this ego network, for instance. Right? So I, I know, OK, within this ego network of this user, actually, this other user has the highest um, 
uh, highest page rank, so I influence this user over here to actually get a behavior change over here in this, in, in this user. Uh, so you can run it uh, on other different data sets. So for instance, here's uh, run on a Yelp data set for ranking uh, users in the friends network, but you can also run it on businesses. If you don't want to install it on your own or can't install it on your machine, you can also ha run a Neo4j sandbox with graph algorithms installed, which is quite nice. So you get it there out of the box. And um, that's kind of the Neo4j side of things uh, for Network X. Uh, Network X is a uh, software library for Python that offers um, uh, uh, a lot of different graph operations. So from creation gr of graphs to mutation to running graph algorithms to visualizing graphs and, uh, and so on. And um, it's actually quite, quite popular. Here it has a source rank of uh, 15. Uh, Compared to Pandas, is a, Pandas is a little bit more pop popular than uh, Network X, but for instance, Neo4j driver is still less popular than Network X, right? So, but we're getting there. It's already 13 of uh, compared to 15. Uh, or TensorFlow, actually, it's more popular than TensorFlow. It's also quite interesting, right? Um, okay, Network X is quite uh, frequently used uh, by folks who do graphs in Python. And it has a really simple API. You basically create a graph with different uh, methods. You can add to the graph. You can uh, modify it, uh, update it. And then you have a, a large number of graph algorithm methods that you can call on that. So people that have been using graphs from Python probably know all this stuff and uh, don't uh, see anything new. What's actually new is this bit, uh, where we wrapped um, Neo4j's graph algorithms in an API for Python that is the same API as Network X. So from, from the outside, you don't really see a difference, um, at least for all the algorithms that we implement. So you can use your Jupyter Notebook or your, your Python uh, processing um, uh, as you would use before, just that you basically uh, switch the uh, uh, wrapped graph from something that's in memory in, in Network X to something that can be much larger in, in Neo4j or can be also fed from other sources and so on. So you install it uh, with pip, of course, and then the setup looks like this. You um, get a Neo4j driver connecting to your Neo4j. You have to do some mapping, uh, which are the nodes and relationship types and properties that you want to use, because uh, Network X only uses the kind of monopotent graph, so it doesn't have different labels on, on nodes and relationships. So you have to map your graph to that. And then you just create an uh, graph from this uh, driver in the config, and then you can use all the network X methods on, on top of that. And uh, so Mark, my colleague, uh, has an example, a Jupyter Notebook here that has all these things. I'll just open it in the background. And um, it basically looks like this. So you, oops. Uh, so this is an example where he uh, just runs on the graph that we uh, that we created. For instance, centralic harmonic, uh, sorry, harmonic centrality, um, and then plots them out, or it runs a uh, shortest pass between two people in the graph. But it's not running in Python, but it kind of delegates to the Neo4j version and gets the results back. So that's kind of really nice. Um, it's living here currently in this um, network Neo4j graph analytics, analytics GitHub project. And um, basically, we look into like people using it, getting feedback. And if you have enough feedback, then uh, we uh, can also release this as an official uh, thing as well. So that's why we want to like to ask you to try it out, use it, give us feedback. How well does it work for you? Are there any kind of weird things that you wouldn't expect? Are there things that, uh, that are missing for you or that could be interesting that we haven't covered yet? And um, Mark also wrote a uh, Medium article about it, uh, so that kind of introduced it, 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 it um, kind of nicely. And yeah, so it would be really cool to uh, get uh, feedback from all of you. And we can have another look at the, uh, what has happened here? At the uh, Jupyter Notebook. I don't know where it opened them. Okay. Come on. So, so you basically what we saw before, we just uh, pull in uh, Neo4j driver and network X Neo4j. We set up the uh, the config. 
this here imports some data, and we configure the graph, and then we have the G for, for the graph here, and then we can do uh, page rank, we can do centralities, we can do closeness centralities, harmonic centralities, pathfinding, label propagation. So all the uh, graph algorithms that you want to use in Network X as well. Um, connected components, cluster, clustering, coefficients, and so on. So that's basically covering um, common uh, graph algorithms in Network X, but executing actually the um, appropriate implementation in Neo4j itself. And that's it. Any questions, remarks, feedback? Yeah. Uh, are all the um, fatality algorithms in Neo4j hosted, or some of them in the algorithms? So uh, that's a good question. So the uh, Neo4j graph algorithms project is, as the uh, GitHub organization says, is a Neo4j contrib. So currently, all the graph algorithms are in, in Neo4j contrib. So we also accept contribution. So if you think you want to implement uh, in graph algorithm, and, and we are, would be more than happy to take uh, uh, contributions to the project as well. Right? So it's has um, so this project has an internal setup that it has an internal graph API that the algorithms use, and it has different loaders to kind of uh, provide the data from Neo4j into this API, and then the algorithms all sit on top of this API, which has um, so something that we did in the graph algorithms library is actually. We try to parallelize everything that's possible. So from data loading to graph algorithm execution to writing the data back is all highly parallelized. And um, so if you have a lot of CPUs, you can keep them all busy by running this library uh, as well. So that's quite something that we uh, um, want to have for all the algorithms so that they are scalable also for large graphs as well. So like billion node graphs and so on. Any other questions? Cool. Thank you so much. <laughs>